What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even higher the 1100 ladder we are just a few subscribers away from 1200 if you got room in your heart ladies and gentlemen and it's not a digestive issue i ask that you please subscribe to the channel put me in your heart of hearts hit that bell to join the a gang we're uploading video after video with this brand new band list talking about what some implications we could see coming up with this list as always on our tier list, we got the tier one, the tier two, the rogue, and then our patented booty, booty, butt cheek category. Obviously, this is for the decks that are liquid ass with big old chunks inside. So if you don't see a deck listed on here, it's either A, belongs in the booty, booty, butt cheek, or B, because this person that made this fucking tier list doesn't know how to make a tier list. I don't know how to make a tier list either, so we're going to use this one that I've, I think I've used like three times. <laughs> Because, like, no decks ever change in the fucking format. But all jokes aside, if you don't see a deck listed, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments and let me know, you know, where you think it would place. So I can tell you right now, st stuff like Cyber Dragon and all that is going to go in the booty booty butt cheek category. Ain't nobody out here playing Cyber Dragon. Like, uh, th these are the primary meta decks. If you don't see your deck listed here, it's possibly booty booty butt cheeks. Um, Dino Morphia is booty booty butt cheeks. Shout out to my homie Mike. I know you're playing Dino Morphia, Mike. You're a good Dino Morphia player. You make it look like it's rogue. Majority of other people make it look like it's booty booty butt cheeks. I'm just saying, don't take that to heart. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the tier list for June 2023. So let's go ahead and start off with the obvious. Cash Tier is still tier fucking one. So they lost Dia Bolsas. They lost two copies of Cash Tier A Rise Heart. So if they do like get lava golem or if they get kaiju or something on their um a rise heart they're gonna have a tough time they could still get it back with birth or something like that but with it being at one that definitely does hurt them in terms of what they're able to do with the deck and um sorry i'm having some technical issues here um but i still think that the deck moving forward is going to be tier one, and uh, I think that if you want to be a cash tier main moving forward, I think you're going to have a great time. Next up on the list here, let's go ahead and jump around a little bit. Uh, Anna Mancipator's booty booty butt cheek. This is like a uh, OCG centered list, so like a lot of this stuff is booty booty butt cheeks. Like no one's caring about Morganite. No one cares about this. It's just a repeat of this. Um, no one's playing the Eva Shiki shit, uh, Eva Gishki shit here in the TCG. No one's playing Oracle Zephyr on the TCG. I just want to get that shit on out of the way right now. Um, Math Mech. So, I still feel that this deck, moving forward, is still a very good Tier 2 deck. Um, with Circular at 1, you still have the ability to do the same plays that you did with Circular at 3. The problem is, is that your consistency as a whole is hurt. Like, if you're playing 3 sign at Mining and 1 Circular, you're basically playing 4 Circular. And Circular is basically a Stratos. So... If you don't open with it, you got to hope that your sign at mining doesn't get ashed. I feel like it was always sort of in the tier two category, in my opinion. It's just now much more solidified in tier two, where like if you open up circular and you have the plays that you can make and you're not getting hand trapped or something, you're going to have a good time. But going through hand traps is going to be much more difficult now. And that applies also to the adding Nister build. Um, that I feel like both of these are kind of tied at the hip. Same thing with like access code. Um, cyber stuff in general, I feel is just going to be tier two moving forward. If you open up the circular, have a way to get to it and you don't get ashed. Congratulations. Um, let's see here. We need to talk about purely. So I said before that I felt like purely was a tier two deck moving forward. <clears throat> I feel even with the delicious memory at one, I feel like now it's kind of moved from tier two to tier one because it only lost two copies of delicious memory. So you hurt the decks OTK factor, but yet you still have three happy memory. You can still OTK with happiness uh, or even X purely happiness by extension, preferably X purely happiness because if it's able to attack multiple times into monsters with happy memory, it's dealing 1500 burn damage every time. Then you don't give a fuck about only having one delicious memory. It just won't have as much high attack. So <clears throat> I do feel like this deck has moved from tier two to tier one because of all the other stuff in the meta that's been hit. 
So this deck is still going to be very good. Same with Cash Tira. It has a hard as fuck Cash Tira matchup. Um, but I think that it got a little bit better with the hits that Cash Tira has. Even with Unicorn at two, ripping stuff out of the extra deck. Like, I feel like Purely is still going to be somewhat tier one, maybe tier 1.5 moving forward. Um, Sprite is still a tier one deck. I don't care what anybody says. Starters at two. <laughs> Yay. All your other shit's at three. You cannot tell me that this deck is not still good. Uh, let's see. Branded, you lost Expulsion and you have fucking Sanctifier Dragon. You are fine. Like, uh, don't even worry about it, Sugar Boo Bear. Sky Striker, you got back one engage and what? One multi roll? I think multi roll went from two to three or something like that. Either way, shit's at three. Um, Sky Striker, you're also getting some new Link monsters and stuff, I think, down the road. I know that they're out in the OCG. There's no reason why this isn't a solid rogue deck now. You got two fucking engages. You got two of them things. There is no reason why this deck cannot be a solid rogue deck. Not tier two. I don't think it can really keep up with that until it's back at full power. But rogue, oh yeah, it's a very affordable rogue deck, and that is awesome. Let's see. Let's bounce around here a little bit. Um... Lyra Lusic, like just straight Lyra Lusic with like Tri Brigade. I feel like his Rogue. I'm almost tempted to actually no. What the what the fuck am I saying? Uh, no one's playing Tri Brigade anymore. The deck is booty booty butt cheeks. Um, Shadal. So even if you're playing like Dogmatica invoke Shadal, I feel like it's still booty booty butt cheeks because I feel like you just get outpaced by everything else in the meta. Like nothing got hit in Dogmatica invoke Shadal, but like who the fuck is gonna play Dogmatica invoke Shadal? Like you're better off playing a different Rogue deck. Like you're better off playing Sky Strike or Eldritch than playing that. Um, speaking of rogue stuff that's no longer rogue, um, ninjas are still booty booty ass cheeks. Like, I'm not even kidding. Uh, let's see. Sword Soul. Sword Soul didn't get touched at all now that I think about it. Actually, this didn't even cross my mind until just now. Um, Sword Soul is still a very solid, consistent, fair tier two deck. Like, that, that actually amazes me. I didn't even think, I literally didn't even think about that until I saw this in the tier list. Sword Soul didn't get touched at all. There's no reason why this deck still isn't good. Uh, plus, with all the new Synchro stuff, we're getting in Duelist Nexus. Th this deck is still good. Th this deck needs to be respected. I wouldn't be surprised if people went back to playing this instead of, like, Super Heavy Samurai or something. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Speaking of Super Heavy Dead in the Water Samurai, I'm putting this deck in Tier 2. I'm still thinking in my mind that even though that the Scarecrow Link is gone, I feel like players will figure out a way to abuse Super Heavy Samurai in like either some sort of sub-engine instead of just a dedicated engine. Um, I mean, it can still play anywhere from 13, 15 plus hand traps uh, and still have a good time. It's just if you don't open with the Wakushi, you're fucked. And so I don't think people are going to want to take that risk without the Scarecrow Link. I'm almost tempted to put it in Rogue, but I think that's a little bit too much i think putting it in tier two is fair um it's still good if they get to the wakushi and don't get hand trapped um but i don't think it's tier one anymore i don't think we're going to see the representation like we do with the scarecrow link at three um spiral even with quick fix and all that back uh, this shit's still garbage so, uh, every, like i said in my balance discussion uh, this whole deck could be at three if master plan is still banned then the deck is garbage you just ash the double helix and you move on with your day um, Flunder is still very rogue. Uh, I mean, the deck didn't get touched at all on this ban list. It's, it's at the back of rogue. Like, there's not that, there's just better decks to play than Flunder. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, you, you make Dreaming Town and Scary Sea and hope that's enough. And like, yeah, Lightning Storm's at two, but that doesn't fucking matter when you could play two of that. And then you just play one Feather Duster and you're off to the races. Uh, let's see here. Scareclaw, 60, 60 card, shit, whatever. Um, we'll put that in tier two. Sure, why not? Labyrinth is very much tier two. I saw a 56 card build top like one of the nationals or something. That's very impressive. Um, Labyrinth is still a very solid tier two deck. Um, Dragon Link. I know Cali Effect did some spicy stuff with like a 40 card build. <sighs> I gotta put it in tier two. I don't feel like Dragon Link can always necessarily keep up with the tier one stuff. Like if you're doing something... Not cheesy, but if you're doing something unorthodox, like Cali Effect had that chaos, I think it was like a Thunder Dragon build or something that he was playing. If you're doing something cheesy like that where you're just going to pants people, like, yeah, it's disgusting. But if you're running like the run-of-the-mill Dragon Link stuff, yeah, like people are going to be able to expect plays that you're doing. So I'd say it's tier two. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Valiance, people play that FTK for five minutes. It's garbage. <laughs> um, Eldelich is... 
I gotta put Rogue. I mean, it, it topped one of the Nationals. I gotta give it credit for that. It's a solid Rogue deck. It always creeps its head up and being like, hey, bro, you gonna fish that pizza? Like, it, it's still very solid. Um, tier. Tier is still Tier 2. No no pun intended. Uh, Herald of the Orange Lights at 2. That doesn't really help the deck out too much. It helps Drytron more than anything. I just realized Drytron's not even in this fucking list here. This person don't know how to make a tier list. Drytron would be Tier 2. Uh, yeah, like, Drytron is pretty much the same where it's at. It got one more Orange Light. Yay. Um, I guess. Like, it, it's still Tier 2. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Draco Slayer stuff is still booty booty butt cheeks. Exo Sister is liquid ass cheeks. This deck is going to be nowhere coming up into this new format. Dark World. Um, you don't, I don't even feel like you even need it in the purely deck anymore. Like, I don't think people are going to necessarily be like, yes, I'm going to take the two copies of Delicious Memory that I had and throw in like two Dark World cards. That just makes no fucking sense to me. I still think the deck is just booty booty butt cheeks. Uh, Orcus, uh, th this ain't the OCG, stop it. Uh, Punk Gold Pride. I'm putting in Rogue. When that deck pops off, Psychic and Punisher is a bitch for any deck to deal with. Like, the only way that Cash Tira can deal with it is if they make a big enough monster. Purely, the only way they can deal with that is if they make an X Purely Happiness that's big enough to get around it. Because, uh, like, it's just unaffected by everything. It's basically a Noir, but with big attack. Runic is... It's still tier two. Fountain at two does fucking nothing. Like, th this deck is still good. But uh, the Nachuria build, I don't know so much. It's, I mean, I still feel it's pretty solid. But, like, Fountain at two doesn't do shit. Um, pendulums, I guess, will always be rogue. Sure, there's always going to be that one dude in the room who's going to, like, play Pendulums and make them pop off. Uh, this is more like an OCG thing. Like, buy, steal, good stuff. Buy, steal, control. If you're playing the buy, steals in, like, like branded or something sure but like as a straight deck no like i don't think we're doing that um that seems kind of booty booty butt cheek to me but as like a side deck option or as like you know a sub engine for hand traps oh yeah definitely definitely so this is your tier list for the brand new june 2023 format we're actually seeing sky striker move up from the booty booty butt cheek category on up into rogue i think pretty much everything else maintains the same as uh, samurai is not tier one anymore it's tier fucking two um yeah i, I still think it's going to be a pretty diverse meta i think things that got hit like math mech they were reeled in and uh i think we'll see decks like purely do a little bit better even though that they got kind of checked with the one delicious memory a sprite i think will kind of start to creep its head back into the format um branded has sanctifier dragon they don't give a fuck and i think cash tira i think it can still kind of bust out those consistency levels and still be like one of if not the biggest force in the meta so guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If there's any questions about a deck you don't see picture that I'm just not thinking of, let me do it down in the comments below and either me or I'm sure someone else will answer that for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.